Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be hopefully pushing the first ever rank 35 Byron. Byron is a really fun brawler to play. And at the moment, as we can check the leaderboards, I believe we are quite some way at the top here. So absolutely destroying the competition at the moment. We believe we've already lost two times up until this. And that was about 800 trophies while whilst we're just discovering what kind of play style he is, what brawlers are good around him. But we're going to be playing with Casey and Tom. As, also, as always, I'll put their links in the description below. Both really helped me with the pushes. They've already pushed rank 35 brawlers as well. And also, Tom is pushing a rank 35 brawler first day as well. So make sure to check that out Saturday when he is released. But without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first game. Then six games away from rank 35 Byron, so we've got to be careful of this call because there's actually a glitch at the moment with the call gadget where it can actually crash the game. So we've got to be careful and not kill the car whilst he's using his gadget. So that's one thing we've got to take into account whilst pushing here, which is really annoying. It's happened to us a few times already. I'm speaking really fast because I'm panicking like crazy. We've got a lot of pressure at the moment. So Byron, if you guys are wondering, Byron is really, really OP. I would say top five brawler at least, if not the best brawler of the game. Which is a bold statement to make uh, straight away. But he's just so OP at the moment. This looks like it's a good team here. Should be able to get the B down. Uh, he's using Gadget here. We should be able to still... Okay, this, you got to be really careful with stuff like that. Because I was shooting. I was trying to shoot the Cole. And then I was just shooting Rico instead. Uh, but now we should be pretty decent. I don't know if I mentioned in the intro. Can't actually remember. But we only lost... Um, I think we only lost two games. Two games. So really, really good so far. Nita, the combination with Nita is so strong. There's so, so much healing with Nita. And when you can keep spamming, the heals actually stack up. So Nita's basically a mini tank with all these heals. I feel like Byron for sure has to be nerfed soon. He's so, so good in this meta for sure. A nice kill from Tom. I'm going to heal him up like crazy. Maybe he can tank a lot more. We've got to be careful of Jackie. Jackie can actually two shot us. Definitely a good counter to Byron uh, for sure. Jackie's got a health buff. Uh, not a health buff. A damage buff. So that makes it... A good counter. So I'm going to heal up myself here. If I use all the gadgets. Cole's going to be pretty low here. I'm just going to use this super on the B. And the uh, the Byron gadget is actually so, so underrated. You can actually heal yourself and damage the enemies at the same time. So that's going to be the first one there. Five games away from the first ever rank 35. Byron, let's hop into it. All right, guys. Five games away from rank 35. Uh, I was going to say Luven, Byron. So up against a Daryl and a Rico. Shouldn't be too hard. Byron's actually such a good mid, especially against like B and Piper. You can actually two shot both of them, uh, which is pretty OP. Also, one thing to notice as well Byron, of course, isn't going to be the best 1v1 interaction brawler at all. He's got quite a slow reload speed and just really aggressive brawlers can take him down. He hasn't got the most HP as well. He's more of a support brawler and the fact that you can basically win any single lane when Byron's supporting, which is just insane. The healing is so, so much for sure. He's in need of quite a drastic nerf in terms of um, healing and whatnot. So we should be able to score this here. Oh, okay, see that actually managed to go through him there. That's a bit unfortunate. Let's just spam some heals here onto Tom. So this should be able to stack like crazy. And Tom's just near enough invincible here, which is insane. I'm just going to get some more shots on. Okay, Rico's got super, but he's pretty weak. Same with Colette. And looking like we can finish this game pretty easily here. So that's going to be another win. Four more games away from rank 35. Byron making it look pretty easy. Let's hop into the next game. All right, guys. Only a few games away from the rank 35. So again, we've got to watch out for this call. Really annoying us. It's going to waste a lot of time if he manages to do the glitch. If you've seen it on uh, Twitter at... Also, basically, whenever the Cole uses Gadget, it crashes the server completely. So, again, another thing we've got to worry about, which is weird, with Byron. So, just B Gadget's not really the best right now. It's still OP for in terms of pressure, but it's got a big nerf for sure. So, this Frank's pretty low here. We should be able to finish off a B, maybe. Okay. It looks like the Cole didn't actually know about this glitch, so we're actually vibing. Uh, the one thing also to note, I keep at the beginning of the push, I kept like auto-aiming my teammates for sure. You can't auto-aim your teammates when you're trying to heal. So just take that into consideration. It's quite a weird thing to get used to because you wanted to be healing your teammates. But I think that's, that's an obvious thing to say. But at the same time, you'd be surprised how many times you do it. It's a nice B. I should be able to two tap B there. B is going to die. Frank is weak as well. So we're going to try and at least stop his healing here. Nice, I'm going to two-shot him. He should be pretty much down there. Nice, nice, nice. Let's wait to get a shot on this B. Let's just throw the super to make the B really weak, and the B's going to die there. So I'll go down, but we should be able to score regardless. Nice super from KC there. We should be able to walk that in. So only a few games left. 15 spectators, quite a lot of people watching this one. Pretty hype. I didn't actually mean to shoot over that way there. So we'll be careful of the Frank. 
and the brawlers are counter byron the hardest as i said before i'd say like jackie mortis can be a pretty decent counter to byron as well not actually experienced too much i think throwers would be all right as well because he's quite squishy we should be able to just super this b just a frank left and looking like we should be able to end this game off on a win so only a few more games left to the rank 35 let's jump into the next game all right guys three games away from the rank 35 we're up against a b again as i said byron's a really good counter to b just two shots to kill the b and see the b is dead here even with the gadget pop not too sure why b actually popped the gadget there Let's try and help KC. Okay, it does go down, so that's a bit unfortunate. And Nita should go down as well. Let's pass this off here. Maybe we can clip the B. Okay, B already. One shot. Let's just super the B. We should be able to get it down. I'm just going to... I don't know why I actually did that. I was a bit rushed. So let's just take a moment to calm it down. You've got to realise as well with the gadget. It took me a while to actually realise. I was like, why is the gadget so delayed? It actually takes up an ammo, which can be really annoying in certain situations. So you've got to make sure you've got enough ammo conserved to use that gadget up that's one thing i've realized as well for sure you've got to make sure your teammates also a lot of times don't stand in front of you especially when you when you want to uh, shoot the enemies a lot of the times i've told like casey or tom not to stand in front of me at all just because it just blocks the damage i want to do so again i can use this super this super so op so underrated we should be able to finish this one off with a win here nice so only two games away from the rank 35 let's jump right into it all right guys just two games away from the rank 35 at Byron here we're actually up against a tough comp so time to sweat it here KC is one shot from that beast gotta be careful wow sprout's gonna be really toxic KC, oh managing to win that matchup i'm gonna just shoot him instead and heal him up nice nice it's actually quite hard to hit uh your teammates because a lot of times they're duking as well so you've got to kind of communicate that in vc if possible to try and get the most value out of it so i'm just going to put my gadget here casey's going to be able to carry and score there looking like amber's near enough given up there so that is pretty epic but for sure as i said you've got to for sure watch out for the sprout can just free tap me easily the bees an uh, easy match up most of the time so i've tapped it once here so just one more tap and it should be able to get her down i'm just going to pass this up Maybe so Casey can score. Let's see if he's able to do so. Okay, nice. So Rico's actually cracked on Brubble at the moment. If you're looking for someone to push for sure. Rico, a lot of his new maps, Rico suits a lot of the time. I'm happy for sure. If you guys know me, I've been wanting Rico to become a meta for a long time. Maybe this is the meta he shines in. So let's just spam the heals on Tom here. He should be able to walk it in just one game away from rank 35 at Byron. Let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, jumping into the final game for the rank 35. Hopefully, I've been told you should be using a code if you're looking to pick up what one of the new brawlers. Uh, and my personal preference is going to be Tom, especially for the carries. So, yep. Okay. No, 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 no. Hopefully, he's able to save that. Oh, okay. Cole actually missed. As I said, with the Cole gadget, I don't want to actually kill the Cole. And that might seem weird. But you just can't as the game crashes. I don't want to spend another like 10 min minutes in matchmaking. I actually nearly threw there. So that was a big rip. I'm going to heal KC up. Nice. Okay. Got to be careful of this one. Let's just nuke the ball. Okay. He actually goes down anyway. So let's just wait for the Nita to die there. And we're able to put out in 45 spectators on the last on the last game. But probably thought I threw there. Which uh, on the front of it, it does look like I did. But nonetheless, I'm going to pop my gadget here. Let's try and get this call down. Got to be careful. He's probably going to use his gadget. No, he actually, he actually isn't. Okay, fair play. Fair play. I'm going to shoot KC here so it can go a bit aggressive. We're going to pop our gadget. KC's going to absolutely carry us. And we've got the rank 35 in the final game there. KC with the spins. We're able to finish it off. Nice carries from these two. As I said, check them both out. Use code Tom. Do all of that good stuff because we have got the first rank 35 Byron there, which is pretty epic as i said just insane the matchmaking took us a long time it took us about 10 hours from zero to 1250 we only lost as i said two times in around the 800 mark we didn't lose at all above 1k so just matchmaking's killed it else we probably would have beat the world record like tom got which was uh seven hours time but that's going to be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed make sure to check out tom's channel so saturday we are pushing edgar to rank 35 first so that's three rank 35s in a row me tom and casey have all got first and by quite a long way as well let me go over to brawlers here just to confirm how far ahead we are at the moment so no one's even at 1200 mark it will take them at least another two to three hours to even get to where we're at so that's gonna be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time